So, so far this is what the project is looking like. I got the hub here from the generator. I got a 5 8 threaded bolt. I've got the old uh, tops of the uh, wire spools. I took the blades off for now because it's easier to work with. And I've got another hub, oh, it's sharp there, down below here, just up inside. Um, what's interesting is you can see the little nipple that's right here. I can put uh, grease in, a grease nipple, so I can grease the uh, inside. That was something that looked interesting to me. Right here, this is the spindle from a, um, or the pulley from a clothesline. I just hacked out the, uh, the inner part and I bolted everything together. It's all pinched together. And it's running to a two inch pulley on a garage door motor style generator. This isn't the uh, garage door motor from my previous video. This is one that I bought off of eBay. Uh, chap was making a bunch for actual wind turbines. Um, the only case with this one though, it needs to be geared up. It doesn't really start producing any decent voltage to around, uh, I think the 500 RPM, 600 RPM mark. So this is how it is so far. I've uh, experimented with different ways of doing it. Uh, this so far is the best. I got a half inch shaft, two inch pulley wheel on top. Um, it's, I, got a, I think it's got a pill block with a, with a bearing in there and it doesn't bind. It's working so far. I would like to make the uh, belts tighter, maybe. And then underneath here, this is a brig, bridge rectifier. I got the uh, AC here coming in from the motor and then DC here. What I did for now is I used some wires from when I took apart my uh, my dishwasher. So, so far so good. I'll try some real world tests and see how it works. In the next video I'll put the fins on, I'll mount them up on a post, and we'll see what happens.